What's the matter? No, oh, nothing. What? You won't think I'm a bad person? Too late for that. Just believe me, I would only say this to you and maybe a psychiatrist, maybe. What is it? Well, her nose is a little big. Yeah, she's got a big nose. I mean, big would even be okay. It's a little beyond big. Mm. It's a schnoz. Now, I'm aware that my own physical dimensions are perhaps a little short of perfection. A little. So who am I to be thinking about someone's nose? I mean, I, I should be grateful. Someone like her even looks at me. I have no job, nothing. But I have to say, I think about the nose. I don't want to think about the nose. I don't ask to think about the nose, but I think about it. I go to bed at night, I tell myself, don't think about the nose, forget the nose, but I think about it. I look at her, I see the nose. It's blocked on your hand. Oh, uh, I got stamped at the reggae lounge last night. Yeah, I'm going back there tonight, you know, I'm not gonna pay another cover charge. Well, you didn't wash all night? Yeah, I washed, just not the hand. You wouldn't believe the women at this club. Ooh, man. It's amazing how many beautiful women live in New York. I actually find it kind of intimidating. Well, you're as pretty as any of them. Just need a nose job. Raver! What? What? How could you say something like that? What? What do you mean? What? I just said she needs a nose job. So no, not. there's nothing wrong with her nose. God, I'm so sorry, Audrey. Oh, it's okay. What did you have to say that for? Well, I was just trying to help out. Yeah, well, you can kiss that jacket goodbye, Mr. Von Nozen. Elaine said I can stay with her another month until Tina gets back. What are you thinking about? Thinking? Nothing? What could I possibly be thinking? You look like you've got something on your mind. Oh, yeah, right. I wish I had something on my mind. <laughs> So how about that Kramer, huh? Yeah, how about him? Yeah, you know, the way he just says stuff. I mean, <laughs> he sure does. Yeah. yeah, he's quite a character. So, what did you think? About the pizza? <laughs> no, about the nose job. Oh, the nose job. <laughs> I don't know. I... Well, what did you think? Well, I've, I've thought about it, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not that I care one way or the other, but these doctors today really do amazing things, you know, if you were so inclined. And again, I'm not suggesting, you know. Well, I know, they're, they're good. Peter Jennings had one. Really? Probably, they all do. <laughs> In my high school, half my graduating class had them. Of course, I'm from Long Island, so... <laughs> It's really nothing. It's like going to the dentist. I hate the dentist. It's a cleaning. <laughs> so you really think I should do this? Uh, if it makes you happy, I don't focus on these things. Uh, I will tell you this. Unfortunately, we live in a very superficial society. I don't condone it, but... Uh, it's a fact of life. Well, maybe I should. What the hell? Oh, now you talked her into getting a nose job? Me? I didn't say anything. You encouraged her to get one. Didn't encourage? No encourage. Peter Jennings had one. It's possible. Well, I think you should accept her for who she is. No, George is right. I want to get one. Oh, I think it's a mistake. Me too. Really? <laughs> Unless you'd really like to get one. Anyway. <laughs> Before you take the bandage off, now, just remember, I was the one that encouraged you to do this, you know? Now that you're going to be a great beauty, let's not forget how this all began. <laughs> you know, like if you listen to your friend Elaine... George. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> all right, are we ready? Come on, let's get this show on the road. You sure you want us here for this? Yes. Shouldn't a doctor do it? No, he said I could do it. Okay, here goes. This is very exciting. Very exciting. It's like watching a birth. <laughs> it looks good. Great job. You got butchered. <laughs>